Hello, this is Lee Hamilton. Today I'm going to be talking about the Geomax Zip 10R Pro. So I want to take you into the settings first because one of the first things we want to do when we get this gun uh, is set it up correctly, set it up to your preferences. So if you go over here to menu, you can get to settings in two, way, but, in two ways, but this way shows you the full menu. Now up here you'll see you're in the main menu, you're on page one of two. Uh, these F uh, choices here correspond down here to these big buttons. I like to use the big buttons most of the time because my hands are big, but um, there are times where I will use the numbers. Pay attention to these numbers on the right, they correspond to the pad up here. But when you go to page two, um, by paging down here, you'll see that these numbers also increase, whereas these F numbers repeat because um, they're only corresponding. This, this whole menu actually has eight items, two pages, and so there's only four F buttons. That's why it does that. So if you, basically, if you memorize this menu, you know settings is number five. You're starting from the root screen and you hit menu, you can just hit five right here. You don't have to page to that second page. That's why you have these numbers. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now we're in settings. You got three main uh, system settings here and we'll go over each one. The first one is general. So we'll choose F1 here. Contrast, that's the contrast of this screen that you're looking at right here. You can make it darker. Whoops. You have to uh, select it or just go left and right. So you can make it darker or lighter depending on your preference. Your tilt correction you can adjust it here. This is your default so every time you boot up this is what will boot up. Now you can change that at any point we already saw that but when it boots up this is whatever you have here is what's going to happen. The beep feature if you like to be annoyed you can turn that on. Whoops, I gotta scroll down here. Turn it on to normal then you can select your beep uh, the, no, the select beep is as I'm pressing buttons, that's the select beep. Um, this gun will still beep on zero when you reach azimuth zero. So we'll talk about that in the survey menu. Now I'm going to page down. We see we have two of four now. Um, this is my angle units. So I like degrees, minutes, and seconds. Um, there are a few options here. pretty standard here in the uh, United States. I've worked in a couple different states uh, in land surveying, but I'm in Texas at this point, so we use degrees, minutes, seconds for our angles. Um, we like to be precise, so we'll go to one minute. Uh, I'm sorry, one second. And you can choose all the way up to 10 seconds for your minute read. But we're a little more precise at this company, or at least I like to be. Um, the displayed units are in feet, U.S. feet not survey feet, <clears throat> international feet, uh, feet inches, meters. So there are different options here. The display, that's just basically the light in the background. Let's see that turn off. All right, let's go down to page three, which is here. All right, horizontal correction. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it's doing inside as far as the math or the... Um, how it's diagnosing it needs to be correct, but there's two corrections as stated in the manual. Uh, it is recommended in the manual to leave both of them on. So I have, but I haven't really done a lot of field tests to figure out is it detrimental to turn that off. So um, I just left it on for this at this point. Horizontal angle is to the right. We talked about that a second ago. Here's another option. This, of course, is your boot up. So this will be your default vertical angle. I got it set to zenith. We talked about the horizon. That's the zero when you set it to zero at 90 degrees off your plumb. And slow percentage is the other name. Um, auto off. I prefer to turn my gun off when I want to um, because I don't like the boot time. So I disable this but basically if you enable it it's going to turn off after a certain amount of time. So uh, oh, let me go back there and disable that. And then down to page four, temperature units, Fahrenheit or Celsius. 
Okay, again, that just goes back to where we live. Um, millibars for our pressure units, it, it, it will read that automatically inside here, but you just need to tell it what units you want to use. And so uh, all the standard measurements are in here, but we use millibars here. Um, data confirmation, that's what this stands for here, this next one. Uh, that should be on in the beginning until you get used to it, I think. And then you can come in here and you can turn it off. What data confirmation is going to do is after you take your shot, it's going to give you an option to review the coordinate data. That's it. So you're going to see the northing, easting, and the elevation as a coordinate. Um, and you won't even see the code or, or the point number. Actually, I think you can see the point number. And then so you just have the option to say yes or no. So after a while, uh, once I got used to the gun, I used it just to understand that yes, I've taken the shot and it's, and it's ready to store that shot. You hit yes and it stores. So at this point, I have it turned off. Startup. Um, okay, so um, in, in the stakeout and on quick survey, when you start up, you're going to look at angles instead of distance. Um, on the stakeout menu, you're going to see the option over here on the left to view the angle immediately. If you change this, you can view the distance immediately. Uh, I like to turn my angles first, and uh, we'll talk about that on another video on staking out but anyway um, horizontal angle is generally what we're gonna look at first so I just leave it there uh, your deflection again uh, oh, I'm sorry this is defaults it's it's funny because they use the same abbreviation for different words sometimes um, but you'll get used to that so this is defaults if you ever want to change this back to the way it was at the factory just hit defaults and all of this stuff will change and you don't have to come back in and change it again uh, when you're done, you're ready to save it. You can flip through all these pages pages, and make changes and then hit OK at the end. You don't have to hit OK as you adjust page 1. You know, you don't have to hit OK in order to go to page 2. You can adjust all of them and then hit OK. And you'll see it'll say data stored. Okay, that's the general setup of this uh, total station. Next is your EDM. It stands for Electronic Digital Measurement. Um, and basically that's your prism setup so your mode is the type uh, that your your laser is going to be looking for this is non prism standard non prism constant that means that it's just going to continually shoot this laser and it's going to be returning a result all right so that's what constant is foil I don't know if you've ever seen these or not but basically um, you can you can buy these foil pieces that have uh, adhesive on the back, a light adhesive. Um, you can buy them at different degrees. They have a special face on them that's reflective to a certain degree um, and you can stick them on walls or other points um, that you're monitoring or that you know you're using. It's not a long-term use um, but you know for years it's not like a nail or a rod you're gonna put in the ground for control but you can use it for control for certain things. Um, there have been times where I've had to monitor a wall. Um, when I was surveying out in Atlanta, Georgia, we had a wall uh, of a building that they were concerned was leaning uh, and, and over time. So we just, we put these foil marks on them and, and you know, you can get them in different sizes, but basically we would just we would set up there once a week and we would monitor those same points on that wall and see if it was moving uh, it was by the way so anyway <laughs> that's what the foil is um, this is prism standard prism quick and prism constant again that means it's going to be shooting that laser repetitively until you change the prism type um, so Next, once you choose the prism type, you have all these different prisms you need to set up, actually, um, for whichever ones you use. I use prism and non-prism, basically, and I've got two offsets, 0 and negative 30. So it makes it a little easy for me. So my non-prism standard, uh, it's a, it can be none, actually, the type of prism, because it's a non-prism. Um, but you basically have none or custom for non-prism. Then the constant is 0. When you choose none, it's going to be zero regardless but if you choose custom then you can go in here 
and uh, you can change the the depth. There was a time where I shot straight on because it was elevated to my to my height. Uh, I shot a pin, and I shot the face of that pin, and it was a half inch pin. So half of a half inch is a quarter inch, which equaled out to be six millimeters. So I was able to go in here and say it's a six millimeter non-prism. Uh, hit enter and then from there I shot that pin and it shot the center of the pin based on that It shot the face, but then it calculated to the center um, So that's what that is laser This is the viewpoint of the laser um, Sorry, you got to hit enter to, to accept the change laser is going to be The laser that you can see right here on your hand uh, You can't see that laser at this point when it's taking the shot, you'll be able to see that laser if you're looking. I don't recommend you do that. You will burn your cornea. <laughs> but uh, laser, you can have that laser always on for this prism setting if that's your preference. And uh, I actually probably should have this on because I, when I'm in non-prism mode, I'm using that laser more than not. I will say that about this gun. The laser, uh, the spot laser, is super bright. Um, it's you can see it when the Sun is out out here in Texas it's uh, that's pretty handy so anyway you can just turn that off and on for this setting non prism standard um, so then you can just hit OK there uh, we'll go back into EDM non prism constant I seldom use this uh, I will say this I did discover one time that the EDM that you leave this on is going to be the one that when you're surveying and you have the option to change your EDM it's going to flip to that one so one time I had it on uh, constant and I didn't realize that and then so when I switched to non prism I kept getting a, a, a returned value every time even while I was turning the gun and I was really confused there for a minute before I realized it was on non prism constant so it doesn't show you that real clearly but if you experience something like that look here and see if you're wanting it to be constant or if you just want it to be a standard shot like a single um, shot there so when you leave this screen you hit OK what you're on right here matters okay so that's the standard um, foil okay prism standard uh, I've when you flip through here you got a regular round that's the full-size round you know it's it's about this big it's uh, I couldn't tell you how what the size is um, and then you have the mini that's the little peanuts like this often referred to as a peanut um, mine offsets aren't these constants so I'm not sure where those numbers come from mini JP a 360 you've seen you've seen those with robotic instruments and there's a 360 mini um, so mine is actually a custom so when you, I'll show you this, when you go in here, you cannot go down here and change that value. So even though you might be using a big round, I can't go down there and change it to a negative 30. So I have to go up here to a custom, and then I can go down here and say, okay, my offset is 30, negative. And then you can hit enter. Again, down here, do you want your laser to be on when you choose this prism type in your survey prism menu? Uh, no, I don't, because I don't like to be blind. So, prism standard, prism quick, it's another option to go through. Um, it's basically, prism standard is going to take several shots and average those. Uh, a prism quick is probably going to take one. I haven't looked specifically in the manual, but it takes less shots. Uh, it comes up with the value faster, but it may not be as accurate. So, I mean, if you're in wide open spaces, there's no reason why you wouldn't use a, uh, a P-Quick. Prism constant, again, we talked about that, is just constantly returning the values over and over and over. Um, and basically, I've set these all to be the same. Um, once you get them all set, just remember which one you end on. Uh, I use prism, sorry, prism standard. And then I hit OK, and it's going to store that. Okay, the next one is system info. Um, you can go here, F3. This just shows you the type of instrument. This is a five second. This also comes in a two second, I believe. Um, but this is the five second. Um, you got a software version over here. 
if you need to look they do uh, release on their website other versions that you can upload these are some menu items that are um, app they're actually called applications or apps they're in this gun working right now so we can hit back set your date now when you save your job um, or you export your points it's going to write it's going to hard write that file onto your data stick or your USB drive and it's going to date it and it's going to put the time based on the values you have in the gun now if you ever want to sort your data <laughs> to find that file quickly which is very useful I recommend that you do that uh, to find your files it's very simple you just hit up on the view menu you just hit uh, sort by last modified and the file you just exported will be on the top um, but in order for that to work these values have to be correct you can uh, scroll up here to the top and you can change the format month day year year month day day month year this is a kind of a European standard um, this is pretty much what we use here in America and you'll see this in a lot of computer coding world so let's see month day year 1028 happens to be today so I'm gonna hit OK oh let me show you how to edit that so yeah when you're on here you just basically type it in and, and it, see it flips through 2016 you can clear the whole thing you can delete it you can insert halfway through 10 28 2016 enter okay then your time that's here 24 hour time or 12 hour time I prefer 24 hour time um, there's no confusion when I use that um, here is where you'll type that in just the same I'm not going to type it in because I got my seconds already set uh, I timed that with a clock so um, I'm just going to keep that but basically it's the same way you start typing it's going to start in the hours go to minutes and then go to seconds we hit OK alright and once we have that set we can go back or you can hit escape right here so we're going to go back and now we've gone through all the general settings so now we'll hit escape now we're back to the main menu um, from here let me escape all the way back out to the root this is where we were this is the first thing we talked about you can see now my prism changed um, if you remember earlier it was the non prism symbol now it's the prism symbol I still have the custom icon next to it 